Hey everyone, today I am coming at you with my new and improved base binder and y'all see kind of what that means in a minute, but I recently redid not only my base binder, but also my magical binder. I'm not sure if I have videos on either of these. If I do, I will try to remember link them down below. Um, but this one's a little bit more like niche because it is like all Disney stuff. So let me know in the comments down below if y'all want to see that. But I am really excited with the way that I reorganized it and it was definitely long overdue for both of the binders. I actually did have three binders that I ended up condensing down to, well, I had two for this one that I condensed down to one and then my magical binder I did declutter a bunch. I didn't film the decluttering of either of these because I just did them in bed, relaxed, and put on some like YouTube videos and just chilled. But I figured you might want to see the flip. Might give you some inspiration on how to maybe reorganize or just, you know, proof up your organization in your binders. So basically my base binder has all of the things that I need to do a base of a spread. Obviously I have been using a lot of foil bundles, so I don't dip into this as much as I used to, but I still do quite often. So I wanted to have it a little bit more organized than it was. Um, so base basically includes anything on the deco part. So um, bottom washi overlays, uh, deco, header overlays, full box overlays, quote boxes, icons, um, deco bits, quote boxes, I said already, date numbers, the jazz. Basically everything that's not like specific, which my specific binder, it, it's just this and then like seasonal. So there's not a lot else besides this. So this is a big binder. It's like a two and a half, I think, inch D-ring binder. I'll try and link something similar down below. I think I got this one either on Amazon or Walmart. And I mean, just I think D-ring works better if you have this much foil, which this is kind of what we're working with. And I like that this has the two pockets. My other one only has one pocket, so there's two here, even though this one's like dying a little bit. Then I use the clear organizer pockets, which are always linked in my Amazon like favorites. I think for this one, I used all four pockets, besides this one's a nine pocket. So the rest are all four pocket. Um, but yeah, so over here I have my mat. Um, full box overlays, I usually have one sitting out so that if I need it, I don't have to dig for it. And then I have some like uh, underlays here as well. So I have grid and silver from Planet Hannah, grid and hollow, this one like rainbow silver, and then these random city stickers ones, just mostly because I put these in places and I forget about them. And I honestly just want to use them. So I'm going to put them up here, especially the city stickers ones I've had for like years basically so i want to make sure to use these and i'm just going to kind of scatter them maybe in a more boring spread where i know i don't have like a lot of plans so that you can see through them especially with those ones um and i'll mix them with regular bougie boxes then on my first little page here which my gold ones are right here because i am doing my lullaby spread soon and i need them i have my foiled icons i may actually grab do i have a piece of paper let's grab this so you can see what we're doing. Okay, so in here I have just my foiled icons. I have gold, silver, hollow. In the back, I mean, I could definitely, you know, separate this, but I'm just too lazy. In the back here I have sparkly hollow, and then I have white and black. So in here I have not only my large and mini icons, but I also have some stragglers from other shops. So I have Planet Hannah icons. I did at one time have these in my, like, other foil binder, but I always forget to look in here. So this basically has... Um, like specific things like school, wedding, travel, birthday. That's basically it. Some random countdown things. Packing and Harry Potter. Like that's it. And I had the icons in the back of this album, but that doesn't even make sense, does it? So I went and put them in here so that I can remember to use them because every week 
if I'm not using a specialty foil color, which I might pull like a wetter block depending, I go and grab this stack. So this is actually sitting out. So I do have some Plana Hanna and then also some Paper Muse Crafts and more Plana Hanna so that whenever I'm doing my spreads, I have these out and I can just grab icons because I really love icons. Um, I think almost like pretty much in par with like doodles and characters. So like I said, I have gold, silver, hollow, and sparkly hollow in the back, and then white with black in the back, which again, maybe in the future if I get more icons, I will separate the sparkly hollow here and then do white and black on another page and be cool. So there's that page. The next page here is date numbers and I have these separated by foil. I feel like the biggest change in the both binders is I am organizing now by foil color versus organizing by category but we're still kind of organized by category so it's kind of one of those things that you'd have to see how it used to be organized to understand what I mean so basically now I have gold silver hollow and this one's in the wrong one sparkly hollow I did do this in the dark well not like not the dark but not like super bright um so that's why the some of the sparkly hollow and hollow might be a little bit mixed up. Um, but I just have date numbers in here and I have pared it down mostly because I know what I use. So like if there is a spread that there's something in shop that I want to use, I normally will just grab it next time I'm at work because I go to work every week. So I pared it down just to font number two for my uh, date numbers. So that's my preferred. And then I also have the letters to Apollo ones that have little bows for variety and I also do have some date numbers that are more specific to seasons and stuff in my seasonal binder so those are these are all just more general so like my snowflakes not in here my magicals not in here park hoppers in here because I could put park hopper in my magical it might be something I do one day but right now no um then I have whole reinforcers these are all by crest press I actually forgot to reorganize these um so I'm gonna do that after the video and I'll just do gold silver hollow sparkly hollow um, I think I just slipped this back in because Lila woke up and I was like, all right, let's just finish up real quick. Um, then we're moving on to quote boxes. And before I had my quote boxes in a separate binder with my deco pieces, and it was like a really weird binder. And like the quote boxes were all over the places because I had them separated like individually. So like this quote box, well, not that one, this one would be in like all the foils in one pocket. And then I'd have like a million different pockets with... All these different quote boxes and then basically like whenever I'm picking my kit I know my foil I'm using so if I have just the view of the quotes I have then I would be like oh I really love this quote and then I'd open it and I'd be like I don't have it in silver so like I don't really know like what the point is so basically the point of this is is like oh I'm doing a silver spread let me grab my stack of silver quote boxes and I can just quickly go through them versus having you know, a front view of a million different quotes, finding a quote I like, and then it not even being in silver. So this is just way easier, I think. And then I can kind of see like, oh, I really don't have a lot of sparkly hollow um, quote boxes. So I should probably like look into like finding some, I don't know. So yeah, and again, gold, silver, hollow, sparkly hollow. So that is my quote box selection. Then I have some deco bits and I honestly didn't go through these either. I don't need rose because I just don't use it. I don't use rose. I don't use rose gold. It's just not a me thing. Um, but these are just deco bits. Um, Sadie's stickers ones that I just trim because they don't fit. And then just the firework ones from my shop because those kind of like are very um could use them for fourth of july but also could use them for other things so anything that's like more specific like hearts stars and like well i guess that's stars too but anything more specific is either in with the design or it's in seasonal and these are just like all the foils because i know i have them in all the foils besides sparkly hollow um it might actually be something that i change later but this is like very little design wise so I just leave them like that and then we're getting on to like the meat and potatoes of the collection so I don't know when this video is going up but the I did just release the tall box overlays I haven't released the wide ones yet I don't even know if you've seen them yet but I'm gonna eventually then have another so I guess I do have a two pocket in here I'll have another you know four pocket after this that has the wide boxes in them both the like variation one and two and then also the stroke 
Um, but I do have these in here and I just decided since there's not a lot going on, I just put gold and silver. Oh, you can't see. Gold and silver this way and then hollow and sparkly hollow this way. And I have variation one and variation two in there. And then everything else is, well, besides this one, this is like the bows. So I have gold, silver, hollow, and sparkly hollow in the back. And then we move on to the designs. So first up, I do have Twinkle. And how I have most of this organized, depending on how many pieces the design has, is I have four pockets and then there's two of them per design. So I have gold, silver, hollow, sparkly hollow, and then the layout here is the um, 15 millimeter strip. If there's another like design, like you know, Star has um, the confetti and the regular, they'll be like back to back. And then I have the deco in front since it's smaller, and then I have the uh, header overlays and the full box overlays. So. It's not as spread out, but I think that whenever it comes to like, oh, dang, I need to pick out gold twinkle, I can just flip to this page and just like pull it all out versus like flipping to all the pages, hoping that I have enough. And it's also easier, I think, to see like if I'm low on something, which I am low on a couple of things. And I just wrote like a quick list on here on my paper and I'll grab it at work and bring it back. So gold, silver, hollow, sparkly hollow, again, the same setup. And then here moves on into confetti. So I put together, this one's a little different. I put together the chunky and the like lighter confetti. I don't even know what I call the lighter confetti, honestly, um, to one page. Cause I do use them kind of together actually. Um, so I do have the header overlays for both the confetti and then the lighter confetti and then the full boxes on the back. And then there is only one, um, there is only one bottom washi so I just have that in there and then I am coming out with deco that I am putting with this I'm gonna show you guys I don't know when I plan on even releasing it actually I don't know where it is oh here it is maybe I should release this but not with this collection because this will get confusing okay so this is what this looks like so this will eventually there we go this will eventually go in there. I'm gonna put this somewhere else. Just slip this in there. Um, this will eventually go somewhere else. It'll go in here. So gold, silver, hollow, sparkly hollow, same setup. Then we go back into the previous setup and basically I put them in order of like how I'll use them. I feel like heart actually doesn't make like a ton of sense. I feel like I would use like twinkle and or I mean, I would use star more than heart, but it's fine. So I put them in order of like how often I use them. So I'm not like digging all the way in the back for the thing that I use the most. So then I have heart. So same setup again, where I have the bottom washi. This one has two different designs. So I just back to back them, the deco, the uh, header overlays and the full box overlays. And I have those and all four foils here. Well, gold, silver, hollow and sparkly hollow. And then I have stars, same setup. I have um, celestial. For the stars, I did put the star deco in here, but obviously like I could use star with this as well. I would just grab it, but I did put the moons in here to keep them separate since obviously the star doesn't have moons. Um, and again, four foils that I prefer. And then we have a little bit of a different setup for the park hopper because there are, actually I could do this the other way. I might actually switch it because I, I think I did it back to front, so whenever I was doing it, I was like, oh, like, where did I put the deco? But I might actually re this to be the same way. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to, like, let's actually do that right now. Like, we're, what else are we doing? So let's just do that. So basically, it would look like this. And then we take this one out. Oh, I have to, this one, I have to press the bottom. I would have been there all day. And then we'll do this. Yeah, I think I did it back to front and I didn't decide what I was gonna do yet. So let's just reformat this a little bit. But basically I'm just gonna do the same thing. And it's gonna be cute. I'll probably tell I did this a million times. Okay. Quick, easy fix. I like that better. I like 
I like everything to be like as, you know, similar as possible. But obviously like, there's some things that just don't work that way. <sighs> yeah, because like this one, like what would I do since there is the one, two, three, four, five variations? Unless I put like one over top of this, but then this is like back to back. And I don't know, I just don't love that. So we'll just keep that one the way it is. But these are all fixed up then. So that is the um, pork hopper, which again, I could put in with magical. I might do later, but you know, sometimes I don't use that with magical. It just has like a Mickey head in it. Um, so we have that. And then I have blossom, which can I do the same thing or no? I could. I feel like I have a lot of these though. Should I do the same thing? Again, I did them backwards. So do, 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 do. Now this one has the two different decos, so it would have to be, er, cause it doesn't have, okay. So I could do this one too, so let's do this one too. Y'all are getting not only a flip through, but you're getting a reorganization. Er, no, cause then I have the two different decos, unless I stack, I could stack them, cause basically they're the same thing, just like different sizes. And then we'll just do this, cause there's only four blossom, they only came in packs. So there's no like separate full box and header, which I don't mind. Um, I think it makes it easier for pulling. Um, so let's just do this. Also, I feel like Blossom's one of those ones that you can kind of minimize by, um, you know, using half of it with like a confetti or like a twinkle or something and then saving the other half for another spread. I'm almost done. Should have looked over this. But also, I don't know if I would have, like, caught it unless I was, like, talking through it, you know? Y'all ever do that? It's like whenever you're planning and then you don't realize you messed up until you're filming the voiceover. Or, like, way later, like, you're doing a planner flip and you're like, what did I do on this week? So then we have that, and then I have some C stickers stuff in the back here. So I do have like the bow stuff. So I have header overlays, these corners, and then the two different full boxes along with the um, the bottom washi, gold, silver. There's like a random one, but I feel like it's kind of similar. So I put in here, and hollow. She doesn't offer. Or wait, no, there's sparkly hollow. She has sparkly hollow. She doesn't. I think she offers these normally in the shop, but doesn't offer Sparkly Hollow normally. So I stocked up whenever she had it. And then I have Celestial stuff from other shops. So I have my Celestial. And then I think not all of this is Sadie stickers, but I would say a lot of it is. So we have gold here. Um, and I just did the same. I just kind of like separate them. I don't have a lot of headers. I just have these headers. So I put like these bougie box Celestial things that she came out with in the back. So I have gold and then the 15 millimeters there and silver. And then I have hollow and sparkly hollow. I don't have, I don't think that this came out in sparkly hollow, so I don't have that. And then I also have some quote boxes from other shops. Um, this one, I don't remember the shop name, but it just didn't fit, so I cut the name off and um, put these over the 15 millimeters. So it's kind of separated. But also, like, let's say I'm doing celestial with one of my bundles or with my pieces, I can come back here and be like, oh, you know, I have celestial sparkly hollow, so let me go ahead and use these up with it. Um, since I don't have it in CD stickers. And then last but not least, I have Lux, which most of my Lux bundles are in my foil organization, which I don't, have I done a video on? I can do a video on if you want to see. Did I do a video on? I might have. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. If I didn't do one, do you want one? Let me know. Um, so basically this is non SPC Lux. So I just have it in gold, silver, and hollow. I don't have any in sparkly hollow, so I just separated it um, like this. So I just have some different bottom washi strips from Sadie Stickers as well as Sparkly Paper Co., different designs. And then these are all different headers. So I have um, these headers in the front here, and then I have some like bougie box type things. Then in the, up here I have all different deco from Sadie Stickers or Simply Watercolor Co. And then up here I have full box deco. So quote boxes, full box overlays, and then these little things which I would use on full boxes. So I have a uh, silver, gold, silver, and hollow. And last but certainly not least, these are just like themed items that I don't have a lot of pieces for, but I just stuck them in here because I don't really know where else to put them. So I have leopard and gold, silver, 
and hollow. And then I also have the leftovers from Theo's birthday spread, which was bee themed. But I was like, do have, I think some like, um, like a hex bundle from Maggie. And like, also if I do something bee related, I can use this. So I just have those back there as like extras. Cause it's kind of like a continuing of the binder. So that is everything for my base kind of like a rambly video with no purpose but just showing you what mine looks like but I hope that you got some inspiration from it or at least enjoyed hearing me talk about it um I'm actually just gonna like organize these real quick while I finish or do I I don't know because like these are all different designs and like this one in particular I only have two of each of them so I feel like separating them and then like this one I have a bazillion of because this is like her original design I feel like separating them wouldn't make a lot of sense. So I'm actually just going to leave these in here the way they are because there's the four different designs. So this is the bow and then this has like stars and moons on it. This has like different confettis and then this one here is like the sampler. So you have solid, a bow one, a twinkly one, and then a confetti one, which is kind of similar to this one here. So that is that. I'm just going to leave it because I think that that makes the most sense. So I honestly think foil, like any sticker organization obviously is very personal. I think it's just basically how your brain works. And I think basically every way I've ever organized something, I've never had regrets because I could always change it. The one thing that I would say don't do unless you're like 100% sure is, is this, which is, is putting things into a binder. Because like once you put them in here, I have like contemplated a million times because I have like, this is like, this is, this is, this is my problem. I have literally zero wants to decant any of these. So they're basically all just going to live here and hope that I remember them. If I could go back in time, I probably wouldn't have done this. I do think for somebody who's not lazy, because I think that the problem is, is that I'm lazy and I don't want to continue the process. This took like I did it in like the beginning of like quarantine. So it wasn't like too bad. I did get a headache by like hollow. Um, but I, I definitely regret it. I have considered a bazillion times just like, cause a lot of the scripts are just from my shop, just like starting over. Um, but I don't know. I just feel like I put so much time into this and there is also a lot of other shops scripts that I don't have like extras of mostly my customs from, um, letters to Apollo. I mean, obviously I could still like use this and then just have a new, one. I might, I might do a new organization. Cause I feel like this for me, it's like, it's not something that like once you're done, it's super easy. Like, Oh, I got a new icon. I'm just going to slip it in. No girlfriend, you have to go in and like decant the whole damn sheet. And especially if it's a custom, like you're going through all the pages trying to find them. And it's like, why did I do this? I don't know. I do think it probably works really well for specific people who aren't lazy like me and will keep up with it. But I think that the upkeep of this, for me in particular, I just don't have the capacity for. So this is the only thing that I've ever regretted organizing. So my main point of the story was is that I find that the best way to organize is just to try something and then if it doesn't work just revert back this is the only thing that it doesn't work with so that is how i always have found my best organizational methods also watching other people's videos and seeing like what they do is also super helpful but yeah that is everything i hope that y'all like the video and i will talk to you in my next one